more can I say? Top billing. Top billing. Fly Eagles fly. The Philadelphia Eagles are going to have a ton of high quality depth in the future. All kinds of guys stepping up this training camp. Some of these guys are showing out in preseason. I've already ran and raved about my man Eli Ricks, a cat who I've been covering since he was in high school. And uh, all he's done is back up everything that I said uh, when I found out he was an undrafted free agent uh, signed by them Philadelphia Eagles. So go check out those film studies. As a matter of fact, check out the last one. I compiled all three of them into one so you can check out what my man Eli Ricks has been doing. He's definitely, in my opinion, he has the talent. I don't know how to go down. I don't make personnel decisions. I think it would be a travesty if he didn't make the team undrafted free agent or not. If somebody shouldn't make the team, it should probably be the guy that was drafted, Keely Ringo. Another guy who I've covered since high school that I've said before, arrives with a lot of fanfare but has a ton to work on. And if you're being objective about it, if you take away the name, if you take away uh, him being drafted or them trading up to draft him in the fourth round, right, what would you say? Has he been better than a Makai Garner? Not at all. Has he been better than a Josh Job? Definitely not. Definitely not better than an Eli Ricks. He's a guy that could be a fringe player, in my opinion, or he should be a fringe player. But I understand how this works. You drafted that guy. You gave up draft capital for him. I, would, I expect him to make the team, no doubt about that. But, man, Mario Goodrich, nasty, absolutely nasty. I had a couple of clips on him before, I think, in the, one of those Rick's film studies. But I want to do a little bit more here because my man was straight showing out in the games that he played and the time that he had. And subbing in for a guy like Avante Maddox, I think he should make the team. A guy like Josiah Scott probably should be on the outs, right? That's just my opinion there. I like what I see from Goodrich, albeit against inferior competition. Not the type of quarterback wide receiver combinations that you'll see in the regular season, but his understanding of area principles, his understanding of combination coverage, his technique, his ability to flip his hips. Everything screams a slot machine, in my opinion. Him playing that nickel spot or even playing next to Avante Maddox uh, in some of the dime packages and everything like that. My man is the goods. You see him flashing the screen right here, right, covering this drag route, going against Tyler Huntley, right? A Pro Bowl quarterback, Tyler Huntley. You look at him right there. Bait Tyler Huntley and then close on it. Oh! And gets himself a PBU on the sideline right there. They thought they won't get the toe drag swag in. You can see him baiting. Look at that. He giving him early pandemic separation because he understands his closing speed and he understands that the sideline is going to be a barrier as well. So it's only going to be so far he's going to be able to throw this ball, right? See him bogged down. The minute he starts his motion, he gears up. And look at this right there. Runs that bad boy down. You can see the acceleration right there. Mario Goodrich was out there toying with people straight up. Mario Goodrich is a guy that I can see making some serious waves in the future. All right, it's a slot, so you're going to be involved in a lot of action. You have to be able to tackle. I love this, right? He's almost at the point of the sphere here in this double stack. Uh, you're going to see them trying to roll with him with one of these kind of side adjust bluff screen type drones, and uh, you'll see him, right? Approach, skirt, and attack. <laughs> My man is absolutely nasty with the physicality as well. He's not afraid. See it right here? Uh, leverage screen. Look at him. Make the guy miss. Let's look at it from this direction right here. I wish I had a better angle right here. Look. Oh, leverage screen. You can see they were blocking run and everything. So they tagged the pass on this. They tagged the pass on the back of this run car right here. You can see guys firing off. This is originally a run here. They got the leverage that they wanted with one of the cornerbacks off there. But guess what? It doesn't matter. My man absolutely erases the block. Gets down. Breakdown in space. How you supposed to do it? Head on the outside and fertilizes a man. Leaves a man where they stand. Mario Goodrich doing the damn thing. All right, check this out. They're trying to run this out route on him. He has outside in coverage, meaning he will probably follow the receiver out because it's a combination coverage, but he might not follow him too far in because then that'll be tracked by uh, the people on the other side or the other quadrants of the field there. But he does a good job of play recognition on this one. Uh, you can tell he was absolutely ready for this one, and he almost got him one. Watch. Look, smoothing this post out of the pedal, then break on it. Oh, look at the plane that he kept. 
lot of people don't know how to attack these type of plays. They'll go either too far inside, take themselves out of a play, or they'll interfere by not being understand how to go off of that inside shoulder. Go back a little bit here. Look, I'm coming out the pedal, right? The pedal links, meaning he's ready, right, with foot energy. You get those feet firing, not too far far apart, then you're able to work it on your transitions. Work with the crossover step, then immediately sticks that foot in the ground and then drives on it, right? Drives on the plane. And oh, that close to being a pick six. Those are the best type of pick sixes on an out route. If you've ever been in that position before, you've ever picked off an out route, it's money. Look at that. Oh, my God. All right, now, this is an empty rep for the fact that the ball didn't go to him. Naturally, your eyes are going to go to the ball, but I want you to watch this right here. This looks like it ends up being the bones of a post route here. Uh, the actual play is that play with Keely Ringo, right? I guess he lost track of the ball and he got a nine route put on him there. But you can see how this cat flips his hips and runs underneath this post pattern here. Oh, my God. This guy is technically sound very much like an Eli Ricks there. Look at this. Uh, flip those hips and then look, he's right up under. There would have been nowhere for this guy to go with the ball. Dorian Thompson Robinson, if he wanted to even go to that particular post route there. See it again. Full speed here. Oh, look at that. That sound, that sound technique right there, right? A lot of these guys be getting by off pure athleticism until they can't get by off pure athleticism anymore because there's a ton of great athletes out there who are also technicians as well. But look at this right there. Great base width here. When he decides to, to commit there, sticks that foot in the ground, flips those hips, he's in the hip pocket right up under him, right? And it's all good. The look and feel technique. So you're looking at the quarterback. You're feeling your way through the route here. You don't have to impede progress by holding the tug in the jersey. Remember, I always say you play cornerback with your feet, not with your hands. And he's a good prime example of that. Keely Ringo, not so much. <laughs> All right, I ain't got to tell you people, playing in a slot is extremely hard. An infinite amount of space. Uh, guys have a two-way go, and you know uh, they can run all different kind of routes with different transitions in them. Mario Goodrich right here out of Clemson. That boy played this shit to perfection. Look at this. Look at the patience in the feet here. Look at the transfer of energy to the hips and then splock a tire. Look at that. That shit was nice, man. Patience. Great base width here, right? He's ready to go. Wherever you go right there, he's ready to go, my buddy, right? And look at this. No false step in the transition. Put that foot in right there, stick it, and then immediately flip those hips. Come on, man. This man's got some fluid hips working in the slot right there. Looking like a, a, a little Jalen Mills out there. Look at that. And then, uh, oh, my God, I love good DB play. Man. What more can I say? Top billing. Top billing.